What is up my frosty brethren? My name is Arctic and today I'm bringing you all some Paragon gameplay and a breakdown on Gideon. Paragon is a third person MOBA from Epic Games and as a quick reminder I actually work as one of the community managers at Epic Games on the Paragon team. The gameplay captured here was taken directly from one of our competitive QA matches. This is some high level gameplay of Gideon with quite a bit of nuance added to the mix that I want to make sure to bring attention to and call out. So here's a bit about the man of the hour, Gideon. He's a ranged hero classified as a caster and has a recommended role of a pusher. Essentially, he's exceptionally good at pushing lanes and clearing minion waves to take down towers, inhibitors, or the core. Unlike our purple friend, Fang Mao, who scales physical for damage, Gideon's primary damage scaling is energy based. This opens up with Gideon pushing the top tower. Has a Sparrow here trying to defend. Again, Gideon very good at pushing lanes, taking out towers, and just being a nuisance overall in lanes. Gonna activate his Cosmic Rift, which is an AOE meteor that drops. Forces that Sparrow to move back towards the tower that he just destroyed, took her out with ease. Next clip. Sparrow in travel mode gets a travel mode stun on this Sparrow. Cosmic Rift into a black hole. She is done. Fang Mao with the cleanup there. That was a great play. Great combo of the moves right there. Defending middle lane. Steel throws up a shield. He's going to have to walk through it if he wants to damage him. Takes the slow. Activates his Cosmic Rift on this Twin Blast. Follows with the Torn Space Teleport. Not getting away. He's going to take out this Twin Blast. Getting fought 2v1. Ends up taking out the Twin Blast. He's gonna drop a Cosmic Rift. I'm gonna circle around here. Gets a stun on the Sparrow. That was a great play. Travel mode stun. All right, so he's gonna enter travel mode right here. Not gonna run, gonna pursue this steal. Oh, avoided the ult <laughs> from the steal. That was a great move. Steel's gonna get taken out by that Fang Mao. That was a great play. Next clip, we see a Twin Blast. He's gonna try to drop this Cosmic Rift behind him into the ult. Forces them to move to the left. Mario trying to save. He's gonna take her out. Twin Blast takes out the Gideon on their team. Now he's trying to drop this Cosmic Rift. That was a great Cosmic Rift right behind the Twin Blast, allowing Decker to get the clean up there. Now he's fighting a one on one. Activates his burden, which does damage over time and slows the enemy. Ends up getting away there. Gonna get hit by the ult. 2v1. <laughs> Got Rampage and Steel. He falls down into the jungle. Gideon's so good at manipulating 3D space. Ends up teleporting back up top to uh, avoid that 2 on 1. Gets away. Decker with the ult there and the save. Uh, that was another great play. Now he has red buff, which is a damage bonus right now. Attacking mid lane. Hitting his rampage, which is in his ult. Ends up getting some health there. Now it's time for the steel. Steel moving back through the tower. Oh, this is just a great ult. Black hole is spherical in its damage. So if you ult above a melee hero, uh, you can really deal some damage. Which is what he did there. That's a high level play. Let's go ahead and take a look at that in slow mo. So Paragon is a MOBA that fully uses 3D space. We saw multiple times in multiple clips where this Gideon teleported above his opponents and then activated his ult. Now this becomes particularly useful in cases where you have a melee hero like the last clip with Steel. He can't actually deal any physical damage unless he's at a length or a verticality where he can still melee his feet. So he teleported way above, activated his black hole, which is a spherical uh, damage ultimate. And as that steel is running through, he's taking damage and he can't actually disrupt or hit that uh, Gideon at all while he's in that ultimate. So uh, very, very next level uh, play on this uh, Gideon gameplay breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, head over to Paragon's official channel. I have all the links down in the description. Sign up for the beta if you haven't already. Until the next time, folks, I will catch you all later. Stay frosty.